Hey farmers, my name is Dan and I'm the developer of the Maps for FS tool. In this video I will explain you what is Maps for FS and what it can do for you. But before we start, a little warning. Maps for FS is open source and free for everyone. There is no paid features, no signups, no paywalls or anything like this. If someone is asking for money to use Maps for FS, he is trying to scam you, so please refer to the official website, download your tool there and use it completely for free. So, there are two versions of Maps for FS application. First one is a public app. You can go to this website, click a couple of buttons and generate a map for you. The second option is the local version. You can either use the Windows application by downloading it from the official site or deploy it using Docker if you prefer web applications. So why use local version where is a website where can you click a couple of buttons and generate the map? So the short answer is public application has the limits on the map size, while the local version allows you to generate a map of any size, which your machine can handle, of course. And also there's some queues on the public application, so sometimes you may need to wait a little bit before other guys will generate their maps. Okay, now we know about versions of Maps for FS, let's talk about what it can do for you. The stuff Maps for FS can generate for you depends on the game you are using. So for Farming Simulator 22 they support the discontinued and only basic features like textures and terrain are available. On the other hand, for Farming Simulator 25 you have a wide variety of different features, starting from textures and terrain, background terrain, water plains, trees, grass, fields, farmlands, buildings, even the license plates. But also I need to mention what Maps for FS can do for you. It can't generate a ready playable map. So after you generated your map, you can't just put the archive in the, your mods folder and try to play it. It won't work. First you need to unpack archive open the map in Giants Editor and at least save it using the corresponding version of Giants Editor. And the version of Giants Editor should match exactly your game. So first of all, for Farming Simulator 22 you need to use Giants Editor version 9 and for Farming Simulator 25 you should use uh, Giants Editor version 10. But it's not all. Uh, you must use the version of Giants Editor that exactly matches your game version. So for example, you were using Giants Editor 10.5, then you have up updated your game in Steam, and then you need to go to the Giants uh, downloading page and download a new version of Giants Editor if it's available. Otherwise, you may have various issues with the map. Okay, so now we mostly understand what Maps of AS can and what it can do for you. Now let's talk about sources of data that Maps for FS uses to generate a map. And there are two primary sources of data when you're generating your map. First of all, it's OpenStreetMap website, and you can use either public version from the website itself, or you can uh, use custom OSM file with any OSM editor such as YOSM. You can download the data from the website, edit it as you want and use for generation. The OSM data is a crucial part of Maps for FS generation. It contains information about everything, roads, water, fields and all of that. Without correct data in OSM, Maps for FS can generate the proper map for you. So if something is missing on your map or placed incorrectly, you need to edit this data, either on public application or using custom OSM file. The second source of data is a DTM provider. And what it is? It's a place where your tiering data comes from. Maps for FS offers various DTM providers. One of them offers global coverage, it's AssortM provider, which has low resolution, that means your map won't have details or something like this. But for some region we have community developed develop, uh, DTM providers that can offer uh, high quality DTM data which will contain uh, details and all of that. Also, if you have your own DTM data, you can use it for generation as well. But you need to refer to the documentation to prepare it correctly so generator can work with it properly. 
Also, I just launched the Atlas FS project. It's a place where you can find the map generated from real places download it and play it right away so if you already have your own map and want to share it with the community just let me know i will handle everything leaving all attribution to you the map remain yours and if you would like i will add any links to this map uh, to any donation platforms or wherever so if the users want to say thank you they will have a proper way to do it okay that's it for today thank you for watching if you would like to support the project I will leave the links to donation platforms in the video description. I also welcome you to join our Discord server to suggest features, ask for help or share your own creations. So see you guys. I would appreciate if you subscribe to the channel, hit the like button and see you later. Bye bye.